Okay, here we are in the backyard. I figured I'd start back here um, since I was already kind of looking. If you see the neighbors, that's what I was referring to. It's off to the side. Um, there's no fence here, so it really is just kind of a really big lot behind you. I'm sure maybe somebody might purchase it and put a house there, but nothing right now. If you were trying to go for a pool situation, it would have to probably be on that side or that side, depending because that thing is right there and I'm pretty sure that's a septic tank um, something to associate with that um, there is a shed not a really it's a little bit rusty but it's definitely here mm, water softener on the side AC looks kind of old I'm not sure I'd have to check um, but the neighbors basically put it on this side well, let me start from the entrance, so let me go around. That's the garage door. Trash cans, of course. We are off the road. I don't know. It does look much better than in the picture in person for the outside curb appeal, I will say. All right. Okay, let's come inside. Enter, there is a, of course, a little closet here. It does definitely smell like this place is kind of been locked up a bit. This has some laminate, big lanai. Then, this is the one bedroom side, kind of the guest side, um, with the garage. And that's the master side, so we'll start on this side. Okay, on this area you have a little closet, bedroom, bathroom, which is a pretty large bathroom. Biggest feature here is the floors, you know, a little bit of a popcorn spec ceiling, very light. Um, here's the garage. See when the last time it was okay, so it looks like it was back in 2010. Garage is actually in pretty good condition with the home which considered. Left your filter. Um, this little guest area has a pocket door, so it can kind of close off, which is a good benefit for guests. Let's have the crank style windows. Nothing hurricane proof about it. Um, this is the master. Masters definitely can accommodate a king bed if you put it this way. Um, two night stands, but this way maybe just a queen. Um, the closet is really large. Okay. Well, they did add a little extra shelving. The doors are still definitely old school here. Okay, the mirror probably needs to be replaced if that's a thing. Um, the toilet appears to be not even newer than the rest of the house, so they kind of changed out the toilets, maybe redid some of the shower and the floors, but not the vanity, so kind of left some spaces untouched. Okay. The kitchen. Kitchen is kind of um, a separate room all by itself. Definitely still has the yellowish backsplash going here. A little bit of a separation there. So it's vinyl all the way up. Already on the way of coming down. This is pretty interesting. Okay. G profile with a whirlpool top and bottom kind of apartment style refrigerator. And then this is the Lanai carpeted, but definitely clean, very, very clean. It's just little pieces of the uh, screen, so. All right, so there's not really an extra kind of living space to be able to make a third bedroom, other than if you were to convert the Lanai. All right. 